Warning, the following content may contain elements that are not suitable for some audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello everybody and welcome back to GeoGuessr. We're gonna, hopefully, crush it today. Our goal is to actually figure out where we are. Uh, I'm pretty confident it's Indonesia. We have Timor, Seborita, which is east. Timor means east. Uh, and we do have the JL right here, which we do find a lot in Indonesia. The The first concern, I thought we were on a cement road. It doesn't actually look like that. The fact that it's east, at least we're seeing east, we'll go with places that have east in it. I don't actually think this is East Java, however. Uh, I'm, we're more likely to guess Sumatra. But we're, we're just throwing down a hedge at, at it right now. Uh, Superman. I don't know who this man is, but it's Supar. No town names, but you know, it's it's a good day. Uh, but we are playing a balanced world. It is a map by Debre, and it is three minutes for each. Looks like we have some tires burning. Satu Rasa and Satu Shahan? Guys, I'm not gonna pronounce anything. But we do have Timor Simpong. So we gotta find Simpong, because it's East Simpong. Start where we don't think it is. Uh, and here's Padang side Mepon. And again, we're looking from a distance. There's a very good chance we're not going to find stuff that we're looking for. But we do need to be in the east. So here is... There is no east. Here is East Borneo. Let's, let's check out East Borneo, shall we? We have Toboggan. Or Tabanga. Mamahawk, Dampor, Kiak, Melok, Melatong, Batakan, Sebulu. Uh, <laughs> two thumbs up, guys. Two thumbs up. And we can also be on these islands as well. But, yeah, who cares about those islands? It actually does feel kind of tropical. And we have Lintas Timor Seberida. So, again, East Seberida. I'm not good at recognizing town names when I see them. There's a good chance we saw it, and you guys are probably freaking the fuck out and be like, "Math, it's right there in front of you. How are you missing it?" Because it, it just it doesn't ring any bells. Uh, Lampung Jambi, and huh? Palembang. These are big. Here's Palembang. This is 493. Here's Jambi. That's 219. So we have to be. Over here, in Seberita, because we already saw that. We're actually going to get a decent score, or we should. Ah, uh, and with a random guess in Seberita, we are one point behind Ben Keller. But it looks like a lot of people were able to find this town. It looks like it would have also been better if we would have gone the other way. But it shows up on the map, and that's, that's two thumbs up. That's one of our best Indonesia guesses. I mean, look at the score. Of course it's one of the best. Let's see. Yellow divider line, left hand side of the road. No bars. And the sun's somewhere over there. I don't even see the sun. Uh, which is to our south, which puts us in the north. So, north hand, well, north hemisphere, yellow divider line, left hand side of the road. And that's kind of what we're going to see. Uh, it's Thailand. Now, there is a new. And it's it's relatively new way to figure these out. So I don't know the Thai language, but this right here is a region. It's a two-letter region. If you're able to read that, you know what region it is. And that's gonna help you. These white roads are not easy to find. They're not. We would look for 105. If we knew the region it was, it would be a lot easier. Here's 101, here's 1015, here's 104, and 106, 102. So does that mean we're in the right spot with just a 106? Every number we've seen, but 105, here's 105. That doesn't necessarily mean too much. Uh, and then on the sides, it, again, if you understood the language, it's this town is 16 kilometers, this town is 50. So these bollards, incredibly helpful, incredibly useful. The only problem is you need to understand the Thai alphabet. And some members of the GeoGuessr Pro community 
are learning the Thai alphabet. There's actually a few guides for it. I don't know if anyone's made a video on it yet, but there are a few guides on it. So if you are not a member of the GeoPro community, I highly recommend uh, joining it. There's a lot of really good information in there. Actually, he's going to tell us. Ban Nam Ogru. So somewhere on 105, we got to find... doesn't even go south. Ban Nam Ogru. And then it just dies. It dies when it hits 108. So this might not even be the right one. I mean, that's going to be fun. That might be a different 105. Or, Ban Nam Ogru isn't showing up. Which, very possible. Uh, there's a lot of places in Southeast Asia uh, that don't have perfect maps. Where not every town is listed. Uh, they're being the wrong spot. Like, this has happened. It's something that we just got to deal with. Uh, the only way to get past it is to actually memorize a world map where all that information is. So that when it's missing in GeoGuessr, you still know where it is. Uh, not recommended, but it's possible. We're not going to find anything else. We're just going to guess. Not bad. Uh, 34 miles off. We do end up getting the best guess of that round. Because uh, we guess on 105. I don't see... Uh, there's Ban Tha Song Yang, but not the one we were looking for, which would have been where we kind of were and before where we were. Not much there, but uh, we found 105. That's two thumbs up for me. It's definitely two thumbs up for me. Swedish son. Uh, let's go look at the language. Just in case. I'm... Um, pretty sure it's actually Finland because of the double umlauts and everything ah but it's a Nordic sign there you go I'll, I'll say it like that uh, we have the Oi Metsa Botania stop signs I don't this is a factory of some sort so we actually do need to go back this way but I thought I just saw the Swedish flag hanging on the side uh, if it's going to be Sweden, it's going to be south. It's probably going to be south of Stockholm. That was a sign. That's for a street sign. We don't want it. We want to find what this blue sign is pointing us towards. We have sign seen a jockey, which is actually 108 kilometers away. That should be big. I've never seen it before. So now we need to make a choice. Are we going to go Sweden? Or are we going to go Finland? So Tama, which sounds like Japan, and Hamnin. Ah, uh, Kalmar. It's got to be big. It has to be. It's 108 kilometers. You wouldn't show a small town 108 kilometers away. It wouldn't make sense. But I feel like if we should be near Stockholm, if anything. Oh, this sucks. This really sucks. <coughs> Excuse me. 67. Yellow 67. It, it would work. <clears throat> it would work. What if it's a weird Estonia? Who cares? Alright. Uh, we don't have your typical road markings, which is why we're kind of moving it. Uh, if it was Sweden, it would be dashed on the sides. Yellow divider, it's got to be Finland. It has to be. So, here's a good sign. Because now it's in Swedish and uh, everything else. Here's Vasa, that's 93 kilometers away. It's north. So this has got it here, 67 right here. All right. We want to get back... Uh, fuck. What is that Japanese sounding name? Oh, fuck. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. Um, but it's 67. That should be nice. We don't have time to go back to that sign. That's the problem. But we found 67. Hopefully this is good enough. It's good enough. Uh, 
looks like we have the best guess in the round as well. So 67 to Puki Sali. We made it to this sign right here, but I don't see any of the names we saw on the sign. Unless we have to zoom in real far. Even then, it's not showing up. Not a bad guess. Not a bad guess. I'm happy with that. Uh, fourth, we have the Uganda car. Here's the problem. Besides the Kampala to Entobia region being covered, there's also a national park that's covered. So it could be in between here, or there's a national park up here, the wildlife reserve that's covered. The water is to our west here. It doesn't feel like... It doesn't feel like a national reserve, does it? There's people here. There's water on both sides. So it's got to be further south. It's got to be, be between Kampala and Entebbe. <coughs> we could be closer to Entebbe. But it's the Uganda car. Uh, you know it's a Uganda car because you can see the front of it. It's it's the meta. That's just... If you memorize this, you'll be fine. All right? You can see a car similar in Ghana, but Ghana has the tape. And it's only sometimes you can see the front like this. Uh, we have the Gar Karagu? Gar Garuga Resort Beach. So... That's what we're going to look for. Uh, we're going to start down in Entebbe. Because... Oh, I thought that was the same thing. Uh, because why not? It, it makes sense to me to start down here. Uh, we did have water on both sides. I don't see Garagu anywhere. There needs to be water on both sides. It's the only reason we're looking. Uh, a fishing site. Kintubulu. Forest and Beach. Sailing Club, Sailor's Herb Beach, and Tebe Botanical Gardens, the Uganda Wildlife Conservation, Golf Course, Sports Beach, Aero Beach, White Sands Beach. They're all the same beach, if you ask me, because they're all in the same stretch. Uh, nothing really listed over here. The Bonga Beach. The Boovie Lodge. I don't think there's actually coverage over here. So, it's in between. It's in between somewhere. Lutembe Beach. Life Camp Baranga. Scripture Union Campsite. You know, I do like seeing some of the the names. Uh, the hedge is literally in the middle. We're just going to go in the middle. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at this point. Uh, it doesn't being a lot further south. Th there's Garagu. Didn't see that from a distance. Probably didn't pay attention to it. Looks like we get the best guess again. Uh, we're just, we're really lucky. We're really lucky. Uh, we were on Garagu Road. If we would have known that this little place down here was called Garagu, maybe we would have guessed it. But whenever I think of coverage, I just think of this. And then obviously the wildlife up here. There's not a lot of coverage in Uganda. So when you get Uganda, you're likely to get a good guess. Ah, uh, is this Locan? We're on the right-hand side of the road. It's definitely the EU. It's just an Obermauer. Is this Locamer? If it's Locamer, it's switch. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, I'm so glad I know this bollard. If you have the black-topped bollard, with the little hat, it's Austria. This was a meta game. I'm pretty confident at least four of the rounds, all we needed was the meta. Now we have, I'm hoping a town name of Obermauern. So somewhere, oh, that was close. Somewhere in Austria is a town called Obermauern and it's gotta be around mountains. And is this, this is Gen 3? Yeah, because we have the antenna. So, I'm surprised I didn't see the cap right away. If we can find Obermauen, which is probably going to be a really small town, we can get a really good score. Like, a really good score. 
the odds of us finding Obermauern, probably not very high. We spent a lot of time doing other stuff. Oberdorf, which, I don't know what Mauern means, but Dorf, I believe it's town. Nuremberg, Rohrbach. I'm, I don't know why I'm looking at just the border. It, I don't know why. Uh, most of Austria has coverage. A lot of it got updated and has Gen 4 coverage. From this... Yeah, it's not the same, but there are plenty of Obers. Which is throwing me because... When I look for stuff, I start by looking for letters, like OB. So every OB, mo well, not every, most of them, I think, that I'm able to find. And here's Oberpullendorf. I don't see it from this distance. We might have missed it. You guys might be like, Math, it was on screen at 1738. And I'd be like, oh, guys, you know, it's not the easiest thing to see from a distance. But Spielberg, is, I wonder if that's where... Uh, the famous directors from. Let's let's just choose one of them. Obertowering. It's not the same. Unless they change their name like fucking. And we'll we'll hope it's correct. It's also a decent hedge. Looks like it's about the distance from each side. Uh and it's wow, that small. So, no wonder we didn't see it. If we would have kept it here, we would have had a better guess. So, we did lose some points by moving our guess. But we would have never found that from that distance. It also looks like we, we might have been able to find a different town, like Virgin. But, I don't know if we would have... Eh, no, it looks like we would have been able to see Virgin from a distance. So, overall, not bad. 24,444. Not enough to come in first place. Ben Keller beating us by 50 points. Ben Keller, very good game. Very close. If we didn't move that last guess, we would have had it. Uh, Calamity in third. 23.887. Anans in fourth. 23.598. EC in fifth at 21.124. Scribbles coming in sixth. 20,725. We'll look at the map afterwards, don't worry. Uh, Bo in seventh, 20,023. Jakarta in eighth at 19.653. Arsene in 9th at 17,951. Calvino in 10th at 14,892. And Beleche in 11th at 10,872. It looks like this, the Austria one was pretty good for most people. One person went with Andorra, but most people went with Austria. So Austria, looks like most people got that. Looks like most people went with Finland, except we had two who went Iceland here. Uh, I don't know why you guys went Iceland. Maybe there was something there, but totally, totally saw it as Finland. Uh, most people went with Uganda. We had one person go with Senegal. Not bad. Uh, and most people knew the, the meta. One person went with just a hedge, it looks like. Thailand screwed a few people up. For sure. As did Indonesia. Overall, though, I don't think that's that bad. Not a lot of spread limited to to not be that bad at all uh i never had my shameless geotips plug uh i'm currently working on china the only country that currently isn't assigned to somebody is india every other country somebody has country or island i should say so that or territory because gibraltar is on there however uh this is for the basic version once we have every country added we're going to start updating countries. In fact, one of the Geotips editor, RC, is currently working on updating South America. So South America is soon going to have all the information you could ever dream of and probably more. Uh, but that's going to be where we call it for the day. So thank you all so much for being here. I hope you all enjoyed. We will be back tomorrow for another episode. But until then, guys, enjoy the rest of your day. And bye-bye.